Letter 127. Humility is attained through patience. December 9, 1880. I received your latest letter in which you marvel at someone else's humility, but do not wish to show any for your part. However, even this is good, that you love humility, and it follows you desire it. But being inexperienced, you do not know how to find it. Would you like me to teach you? Well, would you? Crossing myself, I turn to you and tell you a secret. The very best means of finding humility. Here it is. To patiently endure every pain which pricks your proud heart. And day and night to await mercy from the all-merciful Savior. One who those waits will unfailingly receive. Of this I can assure you on my word of honor. If you can trust my honor, that is. Try it and you will see. The point is, you do not understand that precisely this pain, precisely this sharp, bitter sting pricking the sensitivity of your heart is in fact the real wellspring of God's mercies and of humility. It is in these pains that the mercy of God is hidden. The mercy of God is hidden in sufferings, St. Mark the Ascetic, on those who think that they are made righteous by works. The Philokalia, Volume 1, page 136. Take away these elements from you, take away your exhaustion, take away insults, reproaches, shortcomings from you, and you will be left completely naked. Then goodbye royal purple, the mantle and royal crown and pearls and precious stones and trees of paradise and angels and God himself with his most pure mother. All of this will fly away from you. Whereas right now it is all there, only you do not see it as yet. But in time you will see, and you will be greatly amazed. <laughs>